Hello again Onky Tonks. Now I am on holiday but these things need to be said, they really do. I still have freedom of speech here. I don't incite violence, murder, hatred whatsoever. I did say if people are going to protest then do it peacefully. I believe in peaceful protests and you can get things done that way. People have done things, uh, got results by just being peaceful. Just look through history, it's happened, it really has happened. Why it can't happen here? I don't know. Now, a disclaimer, even though the thumbnail of my video does say we're all far right now, obviously I am taking the mickey. We're not far right. Like somebody said cleverly on social media uh, the other day, you can fit all of Britain's real far rightists, the lunatics, the, the fantasists into a car. <laughs> That's how minute a minority they really are. And for us to be lumped in with them for voicing valid concerns and opinions, it's insulting. And that's what's causing trouble. Uh, it's just Keir Starmer is so out of touch. Now he's just done his third speech regarding this before going on holiday. Can you believe the Prime Minister is going on holiday? I'll tell you what, that's the only thing he's kept his word on. The fact that he won't work much. He did say if he was elected as Prime Minister, he would finish work at six o'clock every evening. And so far he's been as good as his word. What a flip-flopper. But for him to be going on holiday at a time like this when we need leadership and we need uh, decision making and just a bit of gumption it buggers off he calls everyone names calls us all far right and goes on holiday i mean my god not even a month into his job and he is just the worst prime minister ever uh, liz truss what 20 odd days if that and she was better than him she showed leadership during the queen's funeral i mean if that was him in downing street then he'd have crumbled he'd have called everyone far right because the queen's dead and buggered off on holiday again but this is where we are now, folks. The metropolitan elite who rule over us in London are labelling us all as far right. It's, I mean, <laughs> what can I say? Now, the tiny, tiny minority of people who have caused trouble during these demonstrations, they don't represent us. They don't represent us whatsoever. Nobody's calling for uh, migrant centres to be destroyed, um, burned down the police to be attacked, rioting, looting. Who calls for that? What idiot has ever called for that? And those who have, they're the ones who should be found accountable and, and punished accordingly, not us. Our concerns are the problems that come with mass migration, unchecked migration, illegal migration, and the two-tier policing system, which the police have demonstrated over these riots. I mean, there's uh, gangs of migrant men roaming towns and cities. They're armed to the teeth and the police are telling them we're here to protect you. I mean, that's not me making stuff up. That's not me being a racist, homophobe, Islam, whatever, they, whatever moniker you want to label me. It's the truth. And, you know, and the police dealing with them differently to what they're dealing with uh, Brits who are concerned. It's, it's telling. But like I said earlier, this is where we are now. The Prime Minister and his government and the ruling elites are calling us all far right simply for calling this out there's nothing outrageous about it it's their valid concerns their valid reasons and their legitimate opinions it is possible to call this out without inciting violence and those who are doing it committing these acts they don't represent us they don't um, they don't speak for us their actions are nothing to do with us whatsoever these people are thugs these people are minority these are people who are drawn to violence and using these demonstrations as an excuse to do so. But no doubt there are also uh, state agitators amongst them, geeing them on, telling them what to do. I've said this during uh, previous videos. I've seen it with my own eyes when I was at the Downing Street demo. I got caught up in that. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're quite obvious to see. They're plain to see. And for some reason, somebody somewhere wants us to be demonized and villainized and given a bad name and that our concerns aren't legitimate and by labeling us far right it seems to give them uh, an excuse then to go in hard and uh, treat us accordingly curfews he's called for local curfews he's called for facial recognition technologies and he's called for special police units to deal with us i mean whatever next are we heading for a fascist socialist state you tell me but it's not good our freedoms and democracy are being eroded by these out of touch people, these socialists in power, and they need to be voted out. So at the next general election, they need to be gone. They really do. The best thing we did was vote in reform. 
the, the Tories were just, they were pants. I mean, somebody said on social media uh, this morning, actually, I was watching, saying it was a mistake to vote in reform. No, voting in reform was the best thing to do. And the next best thing is to get them into opposition and then in government. That's what I believe. And there we go. That's my video. I hope you like. Please comment, share, subscribe. I'm Paz49 and until the next time, Roger Trout.